Hi guys, Brain here, and welcome to another commentary video. Today, I wanted to talk about something that I found interesting going around the Dead by Daylight social media space, which is questioning why the killers in Dead by Daylight's new 2v8 mode do not have incentives, considering the fact that they are waiting 10 to 20 minutes per match. It's been a really stressful thing with the 2v8 mode, which is honestly one of the most fun and interesting game modes that have been released in Dead by Daylight since they've started to implement alternative modes. 2v8 in particular has been a mode that's been requested for quite some time. The ability to kill with your friends was actually almost the entire marketing point of Dead by Daylight's competition, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> so uh, Dead by Daylight finally doing it themselves is just going to be easy money. And as we've seen, uh, has drawn a lot of new and old players back to the game. However, the main issue obviously being that killer queue times are 10 to 20 minutes because realistically the survivor side is more of the same gameplay minus items whereas the killer is the new dynamic gameplay side that has the new content which is being able to play with multiple people don't get me wrong the survivor uh, classes are super fun i've been having a lot of fun playing escapist uh, over on the survivor end of things but the appeal of the mode is playing killer with your friends so that side of uh, the uh, that side of the gamer population is extremely extremely overpopulated right now and it's creating quite an issue with the queue times now i get that that's like really really frustrating uh if you especially if you're somebody who wants to stream the game it's not really like viable to sit there for 10 to 20 minutes doing nothing just for like 10 50 minutes of gameplay uh at least when you're like off stream with friends you can just kind of uh watch a youtube video or hang out in between queues but it's still pretty brutal especially if you're trying to solo queue but I wanted to get into today the, the notion that putting the blood point uh, incentive on killers would somehow make things better or at least make the pain of waiting for a long match even better because the incentives don't really work that way, not only in Dead by Daylight, but in games in general, incentives don't really work that way. So I, I want to explain what incentives are, what they are made for, and why it would not fix this situation. Behavior introduced uh, the incentives roughly two years ago up until this point. I think it was like fall of 2022, something to that extent. It's been a while, so it's been in the game for a while at this point. And behavior introduced the incentives at a time where the game was a lot more survivor sided. Survivors were really, really strong. So not a whole lot of people were queuing as killer, resulting in five minute plus wait times for matches, which obviously people did not enjoy. But basically, all this does is it just tracks which side has less players and offers you blood points to play the opposing role, so queue times will be better. This is not a new thing at all either. Other systems like this exist in uh, games like Overwatch to help you and in, in, incentivize you in order to play other roles. But at the end of the day, incentives are just introduced to help with queue times by adding the blood point bonus to the underpay, uh, underplayed role. So let's bring this back around to why this will not help the 2v8 situation, especially if you were just going to add the blood point bonus to the killer side of things. Um, making the incentives go over to the killer role and not the survival role would make things worse not better because the reason that killer queue times are long is because everybody is wanting to play killer at this moment especially while it's new and we have this free re weekend going on the reason that the blood point bonus is on the survivor side and it's like 400 percent and has consistently stayed that way <laughs> this entire time playing because it doesn't matter uh the region or time of day um, most people are on this mode to play killer with their friends and they want to do that so uh they they are loading in there are a lot of people that are like you know God bless them are, are out there doing their best uh trying to stem the tide with this there's a lot of streamers running like eight man open lobbies and the such which is really funny um but they're trying to do their best to help with that but realistically most of the players that are hopping back on are hopping back on to play killer which means there are just tons and tons and tons of killer players in the pool additionally there's no such thing as duplicate killers in this mode so if you are somebody who are solo queuing as a popular killer say like huntress who is very, very uh, high pick rate during this mode, uh, you're going to be sitting there for quite a while because you are in a flood of other people who are also wanting to queue into the game as Huntress. And if there are other Huntresses, <laughs> and you're not going to be able to play in that same uh, match with them. So it's going to skip over your queue with somebody else who is also wanting to play Huntress and try to align you with somebody else. So maybe just a, a tiny bit of advice to make you a, a little bit, uh, <laughs> have a little bit better time when it comes to these really long queue times, play as lesser played killers like Billy and Trapper. Uh, that way you could potentially get a quicker queue pop. But all these factors uh, contribute to having a very, very long killer queue times, the 2v8 mode, but adding bug points to that uh, would just kind of entice more people to queue up into killer which doesn't really make any sense because why would we want more people queuing up into killer when the whole problem is that so many people are queuing into killer that queue times have gotten extremely long 
that would just worsen our situation. I would understand perhaps maybe if we take the 400% blood point bonus and up it on the survivor side to something crazy like a thousand. <laughs> and then we just give the killers like a 200% blood point just for like sitting through the queues. But to outright just like switch, like like turn off the incentive on the survivor side and just give it to the killers. No, that would just blow up the situation even more. That would make things even worse. That would actually, that would just <laughs> lead to like we would have like 30 minutes few times if that was the world we lived in, because people would not only be hopping on like, oh, I'm going to play 2v8 with my friend. I'm going to play killer with my friend, man. They're now going to be hopping and going, OK, now I'm definitely going to play killer with my friend because that has the blood point bonus. So no, adding the blood point bonus to killer would not solve this situation. If anything, it would make it way, way, way worse. So anybody who is saying this out in the Dead by Daylight community, unfortunately, does not have a full understanding of incentives and what they are for and kind of just want some sort of compensation from behavior for their long wait times. But that compensation should not come in the form of incentives because that would just make the situation way, way worse. And you don't quite know what you're asking for here because I would make things really bad behavior should still work to mitigate queue times maybe they should do something like introducing hidden survivor bots that appear to uh in people's matches uh and appear as normal players in order to help like fight the queues just a little bit especially during this free weekend where population is high and maybe we can roll that back later there's a lot of different ways you could go about trying to solve that situation that's just like the off the top of my head uh thing that i came up with but behavior definitely should still work to fix this and it definitely still is frustrating that killer queue times are so long i'm just saying that incentives and adding them to killer uh will not solve the situation anyway it will just worsen it but yeah do you guys have any better ideas what can we do to help mitigate the bad queue situation on killer and 2v8 let me know down in the comments below but that's gonna be it for today's video friends i will see you tomorrow though because i upload daily but if i do not I will see you when I see you. Bye.